Well, boys, my plan was to show you these tournament games in order, but uh, then we won. Dummy is your Madden Bowl Bro, what is up with these guys? Be super bummer, dude. All right, boys, ultimate kickoff tournament, the first tournament of the year. You guys have been watching the games, breakdowns, regular games, whatever it may be. If you guys are tuning in live on Twitch, that link is below, of course, man, to watch these games live. I had over eight thousand people watching these tournament games most people i've ever had in my stream most people i've ever had supporting me and uh you know it was a big day it was a big day for the boys all you guys reached out and supported me and i'll be honest with you guys the more people that come out and tell me good luck i'm rooting for you everything like that i normally feel like that's more people i'm going to let down so it's like I, I i've never had this many people rooting for me i've never had this many supporters but ultimately it weighs on your shoulders like these are the hundreds and thousands of people that I'm going to let down. That's how I feel every time. I know if I don't know if it's a confidence thing. I don't know. Maybe it is, but that's how I feel. So thousands of people hit me up. I'm supporting you. I'm rooting for you for this tournament. So a lot of emotion involved. Uh, but, you know, here we go. We got to play. We won four games on Sunday. So now we got to win three games to the live. I wound up uh, winning my first two games. And then we had to play Decroft. Decroft is one of the best players in the world. If you guys have been paying attention to competitive men in the last couple of years, Decroft has been an absolute unit. He is a great player. He is a grinder. He is a schemer. He he knows more about the game than most. He really gets it done. He's running the U trips. If you guys been following me, I have no answers for it. You know, uh, but this was our last game. We can tell I'm definitely drunk. I'm definitely. Uh, almost on the end as far as my energy we partied a lot drank a lot so i'm a little on edge so i apologize if the video isn't as crispy and clean as uh most um but you know i'm still a little hungover drunk slash partied out tired my son woke up at seven today so he's around here somewhere playing while i make this video for you guys um but let me show you my team man ultimate team kickoff jerry rice dropped Deion Sanders dropped. Big cards got to be on your team. Those are the two I want on my team. Uh, a lot of debate about what theme team to do. I was going to do Pats and Seahawks, 25-25. Good theme team. Excuse me. Let's see. Ooh. And that's a great theme team if you guys are using. You guys can use that. But the last hour, Skimbo was the one that told me, let's do 50-50 Seahawks. We get plus two on Hester. Plus two on Jerry Rice, plus two on Sherman, on Woolen, uh, on Franco Harris, on Warren Moon. Everybody gets plus two speed. So let me show you my team. It's a little bit tedious. I don't think I'll use this team in head to head, but let me show you what I got here. Um, boom. Warren Moon, Devin Hester. You can see I have three. I, every single position is a Seahawk now to do 50 50. Um, Medcalf plays. He, you know, he's been a, been a beast all year. Jerry Rice, we'll put a slot apprentice on him. Devin Hester, we'll get plus two speed on him. So Hester and Rice both have 88 speed, I believe. 89 speed with the plus two. Both of them have 89 speed. That's uh, top tier speed right now. I know Dion came out, and with one team chem, Dion is 89 speed. But uh, to have two receivers at 89 speed, yeah, you might have Dion, but are you covering both of them? And then we have DK, who's been an absolute unit since, since the game came out. DK Metcalf. Uh, probably the best budget card you can get. I'm assuming 86 speed on DK is, is actually, you know, terrific. Um, Warren Moon, Franco Harris, uh, our offensive line. Uh, we got to put in Dan Deardorff at right tackle, and we got to put F Ethan Pochick, po Pokick, whatever his name is, at right guard because this guy Bradford is, is a bum. And we got to sub in our tight end, who is um, Mike Gusecki is our tight end. So 
Every single person's a Seahawk here, boys. Like I said, we use Slot Apprentice. We got Matador on, oh no, we got Tough Nut on Kevin Mawai. I have one AP, and I feel like with the loop blitzes and the dollar, whatever defense it is, I feel like stepping up in the pocket is a big deal. Uh, so I want my center to be able to hold some things down. I don't even know if it works, but it's one AP, and we got it. Warren Moon, we have Gunslinger and Gift Wrapped. Gift Wrapped allows you to throw high balls like last year, catch the ball. You know, your play, your, your receivers get more catching. They do more work. Um, defense, we're going to have Sherman and Woolen on the outside. We're going to use uh, Joey Blunt here in the slot. Joey Blunt is my slot player because, for me, I play different than most people. If you guys know my slot blitzes a lot and my safeties are in man coverage, we're going to use Ed Reed and Deion Sanders in man coverage. Cam Chancellor, um, and we're going to use Cameron Curl, I believe, is my other safety that I have. And then Bobby Wagner, the new Bobby Wagner card at linebacker. So those are my three linebackers. My DNs are Warren Sapp. I use Nolan Smith, and I use Aiden Hutchinson. This is a 50-50 Seattle theme team, so it looks nasty here. But we have to pause the game and make some subs. But ultimately, we got Richard Sherman and Tariq Woolen on the outside. Big bodies. You know, fast. 88 speed for Sherman's definitely fast for him. You know, 6'3", 88 speed. at corner is ridiculous. Once again, I apologize. My voice is kind of gone. My, my uh, overall health might have took a hit yesterday emotionally but here we are let's take a look at this game i play let's, let's listen everybody that hits me up you know i feel like i ultimately want to let you guys down but uh yesterday was a big day and I, like i said i was going to put these games in order let you watch everything but we made the live event boys let's get it for the boys for all the youtube subscribers we're closing in on fifty thousand youtube subs man uh all these offense defense all of this is on madden turf um you know, if you guys want to, the ebooks, everything, offense, defense is there. Everything I do, there is no secrets. There is nothing. Now, in this game, I freestyle a lot. That's the difference between, you know, me and you guys a little bit. But, um, you know, here we are, dude. I put my all into content, all into streaming and YouTube and everything, you know. And uh, to have this much success competitively, it's definitely emotional for me. And you'll see that in this game. But let's get into it, boys. Let's get into it. This is D Croft here. Luke plays Lux. Let me put this. Yep, there we go. Uh, here we go. But we're on the road. He was like the top 10 seed. He didn't play uh, Sunday. So definitely, uh, listen, it's going to be as tough a game as you're going to get with D Croft. He's been running U trips for years now. And it's offense I don't really have an answer for. Uh, we're going to pause the game, do our, all our subs. I talked about my team as far as, like, where everybody goes and everything. I'm going to use, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's 50-50 Ravens. You'll see where people are on the field, where they make plays. And the thing about, you know, you got to kind of know what defense you're going to run and how it's going to work. Now, as I said, the one time I practice or I talk about Madden is Skimbo, and we run uh, the West Coast offense, and he's played D-Cross, so he knows D-Cross. Uh, is tough to play and Decroft is a looper. So if you see here coming out the gate, this is just 3-3 three, three, loop loop. All right, but he doesn't move this linebacker. So I noticed this early, you know, like I said, most people loop with the linebackers. The corner shaded inside here. We know he's in man coverage, two man or he's in 3-3 three, three nickel blitz or something like that. So uh, I'm, I'm going to double team this guy. What that it does is allows your running back to then block this guy and it's a clean block over here. So that's what I'm thinking first play. And we get looped from the slot. Now, the slot blitzes me. Now, this, I, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys would have picked up on this, but the slot is the one that blitzes. This is first down. Slot blitzes. We got man, man, man. You know, and this is things you got to see. Now, I did put my broadcast on delay, so I, I turned my broadcast off. I was not watching. A lot of you guys say, oh, you watch the broadcast all the time. I wasn't watching anything. All this was in real time, my adjustment. So here we go. We got second down. We're going to flip. You know, now we get this slot that he wants to blitz. We get him to move a little bit. He's going to move him back for a little contain area right there. You know, and we'll see how this works, this play. Does that, is that good enough? I want an ID on the right. Truthfully, between me and you guys, I don't know what the hell works to stop loop. I don't, but, you know, you try everything. Contain, slide, double team. I know on the running back side, if I double team, he will block. It does a good job. But if they do double loop, you're SOL if you do that. So I'm getting double looped, so we got to try to adjust to that. Uh, let's see if this works here a little bit. We step up. We have time. Not my greatest play I put out there. 
but we get a second the third and one now this is tough oh man this is where i wish i had inside zone but you know, like i said bunches are a passing offense man it is but the, the third and ones here i'm going to run sweep and pray but once again i'm going to flip i'm going to motion make them make these guys move make these guys go to a different area of the field um and we're going to get this first down we're just going to lower our, our shoulder here now this is something i've done since playstation 2. if you're running strong side right all right most and they're playing man coverage which he is motion hester out of the way that way there's less people you know if you run right in you'll have jerry rice on the slot you'll have hester on this guy and you're going to rely on your wide receivers to block but if i motion hester and take this guy out of here now he's out of the program so now i only have to rely on one receiver to block if you see what i'm saying so he's out now it's only a one so less chance of your receiver whiffing essentially now if, if obviously if you're running tight ends or you're running vanguard or something glitchy it's okay to keep him there but i want that that interaction to get out of the way now ultimately you know it's third and one i want a first down it's the first drive of the game i'm nervous as, as shit i'm shitting bricks so i want to get a first down so i just put my head in the shoulder or put my uh foot in the ground and go forward all right that i mean honestly that's a big deal getting a first down we got double looped we get a first down it's kind of like all right the game is live now now we're live the game is good we're, we're good to go we're locked and loaded let's go you know and and as far as anxiety and nerves it's through the roof but once the game starts you you, you just you play oh 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 speaking of through the roof i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry boys i'm sorry dial it back in dial it back in all right so now we got a first down all right so once again now we get super looped the next play bump bump man the slot comes and get me okay that's i mean this is not what you want to see if you're if you're playing offense here and we get sacked for four four yard loss okay that's tough all right what am i going to do all right what am i going to do now to, to to mess with this i can't have this slot blitzing so i'm going to flip as much as i can see the slot gets cut he has to auto he has to he has to re i don't explain it what he has to do if we come out here second and 14 we flip his slot goes out and he resets the play to linebacker blitz he resets it he's doing adjustments and we're able to quick snap and hit the running back out of the backfield boom juke and juke and get out of here and we get a huge gain just like that that's why you want to flip make them reset don't let their defense get comfortable sometimes when they're doing this and we're going no huddle right to the line uh but we don't maybe not quick snap but he's setting up for a quick snap and we'll do it again we'll flip make them reset a lot of times it's just be obnoxious and we get another quick snap off we're able to throw the ball away because he does get that loop look how fast he sets this up flips he flips the slot is going to the left here I tried a quick snap, but the slot still blitzes, and he still gets this loop right here. Big time play. If I don't get the loop, maybe that corner route scores a touchdown. So second and ten. This is pure freestyle. I don't even want to like. This is not an ebook. This is we're playing man coverage. I want to block this guy. Uh, hopefully, I get a free release on Hester or Medcalf. Uh, they're pressed up. I, maybe I can get a touchdown. Jay Rice, new slot apprentice. This guy right here is could be is going to be open on man coverage and then we got Kaseki on a whip route who we know whip routes absolutely kill man coverage but we're going to have to step up because this guy is looping so we're going to have to pay attention and the one thing that saves me on this play is it doesn't look like he's looping on the right so i only got to worry about the left i think so my step up game has to be tight right here and we get a good block that's such and this is what i look at first because what do you look at i look at this we get a beautiful block no loop god bless and now we're going to get he covers here and Gasecki open free first down free yards big Mike Gasecki inside the five yard line right there beautiful play right there all right first down nice first down first and goal I've been saying it all year this is or all the point of okay the whole thing is can we score inside the five can we score inside the 10 can we score inside the red zone uh it's going to be just the whole game can we score can we win inside the red zone things like that so for me that's what i do we're gonna run sweep right here put our foot in the ground go back this way juke left boom juke right boom huge play huge 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 to start the game like that uh to start the game like this juke the computer juke back right to start the game like that just just a huge play to get the blocking from the boys as much as i i mean i made a play but we get blocking all the way across the front now 
you guys know I just talked about moving the player to the left. Motion over. So I motion Jerry Rice. He does not run. That means essentially I have an extra blocker to the left. I know this before the play. I know this right now that I have an extra blocker to the left and I don't have an extra. I lost a blocker on the play side. So we're going to put our foot in the ground, go back the other way. I, and then at this moment, I see this guy and I know I say this a million times, man. If you can get outside the contain player, you got room to go. So that's that right there. Is, this is where I made my decision that I'm juking Deion Sanders right here. I'm juking him. I know that. Juke left right there. And then obviously this dude made a hell of a play to get off the block. But I'm able to juke back inside and get into the end zone. Huge. Huge. Huge to go up 7 nothing. Just good drive. Great execution. Um, huge deal. And, of course, kicking to the right here is uh, my... It's just bad. You know, I have a theme team. We talked about 50 for 50. Uh, I'm on Jackson Smith and Jigba, who I believe has 81 speed. Um, uh, normally, I try to do a better job of getting to the middle of the field here, especially on kickoff right or whatever I've been doing for two years. And, I, you know, it's just what I've been doing for two years. And Bobby Wagner, who is this on the ground? Blunt is on the ground. Okay, now I'm watching, my, I'm watching this back of – what happened and how we're giving up kick returns and just can't do this blunt somehow Dion's getting blocked here blunt is right here sherman's over here i'm on jackson smith and jigba i'm trying to get through all this mess to get contained bobby wagner sheds right away but not fast enough um number 10 is blocking some other guy <laughs> blunt is on the ground and he is blocked by franco sherman clicks on i'm staying on in jigba but he's just too slow to get there uh, one of the things I should have did is just stay on and jig, but the whole time I might make this tackle, but I clicked off and tried to dive. I dive with him and luckily he had stamina issues. So we were able to catch him. Never stop on a play. Um, we've given up kick returns all tournament. We got to figure that out. We do. Uh, but he's at the 24 now. Listen, he's got points. He's in field goal range already sucks to give up this to a great player, but uh, we can hold him out the end zone. So mentally, I feel good. Uh, not not good, but I feel like, okay, it's time to keep him out of the end zone now. We're closer. Our back is to the... Now, this is what I want to do all game. Uh, it's man coverage, man coverage. There's no... This guy, when I run this blitz, uh, th there's nobody on the running back. And the guy on the tight end is right here. He's got to guard the tight end. So sometimes I'll man him up on the running back, guard the tight end myself. I'll man him up on the tight end and guard the running back myself, put a purple zone. Uh, the alignment's a little goofy, but ultimately we're man, 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 and then the tight end running back. And I, the different responsibilities, different times. But at the end of the day, I want to heat him up. That's what I want to do. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six people coming to the party. Man, 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 man. I got the tight end on this play. I put myself in a purple zone because when he snaps the ball, instead of blitzing and, and touching alignment and getting caught in blitz, I will drop back a step and I'll be ready to guard the tight end. A lot of times in this formation, tight ends on a whip route, tight ends on a flat route, tight ends on a drag, but I got the tight end. So I got Ed Reed on the running back who doesn't guard the running back very well anyway, but he's on a motion here and good job by motion. What he does by that is isolate Jerry Rice on Deion Sanders. We get no pressure because he blocks the tight end. And I don't know what happens on this play that he blocks the tight end and everybody gets knocked on the ground. One time about blitzing your user is that you don't really get the glitchy blitz here. All right. So these guys get cut. This guy is coming free, but trips. And I got the tight end here on a streak. I got tight end, but Jerry Rice beats Deion Sanders to the end zone. So. Kick return to the 24, a one-play touchdown. Tough. Now we got to go back on offense and deal with this loop stuff. You know, we're on. So, he's still in this loop. Remember, he wants this slot to blitz and loop this guy. So, let's keep flipping. Now, he moves there. He's got to auto flip again. I'm going to try to snap before he gets in spot. So, we get no loop glitch. Beautiful. Just like what I want. I want to flip. One hot route is my running back on the left. That's my one hot route when I flip. So this way he can't set up the glitch blitz and he just gets a regular blitz. No loop over here. You see all these guys blocked. We're going to have running back. We're going to have drag crossing route at some point. And we hit a drag. That's what I want to do all the game. I don't want this glitch blitz to set up. I don't want him to be comfortable. I don't want him, you know, just teeing off on me. Same thing. We're going to just try to, once again, he blitzes everybody, but he does get a loop this time. He does. 
you know so we're going to try to run the same play here uh but this time he gets the loop so maybe we got to flip a little bit more we got to be in more annoying all right so this is a big 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 part of the game where he's given up on the loop he's given up trying to flip with me he's given up trying to set that up he goes to straight three three coverage defense and mentally i am happy i'm relieved i don't have to deal with looping anymore don't have to deal with contained blitzes i i honestly this is where i felt comfortable now this is a good defense he's a great defensive player he's going to adjust i'm going to have to cook and right here three people absolutely shed my life they absolutely shed like dude what are we doing here like is deardorff not it but uh when i saw now this is what i'm bad at when i saw this many people drop into coverage this is kind of my eyes kind of look like the box of the football field like how many people are rushing when i drop into coverage i kind of give up on my big play because he has so many people in coverage but you know one of these dudes shed the hell out of me on three man rush i wanted to hit b right here in this little spot get a couple yards but i also as i throw to b i see x i see this is just cover two double mabel that he went to uh i see this this you know x is open on the corner out he is uh so we're not able to throw to b we get that ball away but we're going to go to the same play you know what let's see if he runs the same defense once again i feel like i had something there but the only thing that killed me was the the three-man pass rush and i played the percentages that the pass rush isn't going to do that again so now i motion this guy over here to start cooking doing some random things because if i cook maybe he'll think it's something different you know like just motion this guy over here because and i put him on a curl because he went three-man rush when they go three-man rush in the zone they're going double mabel they're going a lot of deep blues and what they're not going to have is a yellow zone in the middle of the field for that curl they're just not so three-man rush again it's my point it's b or curls wide open but once again i saw x last play i'm going back to the same play disguised it a little bit boom we get our feet in there huge play just a huge play um next play we're going to get to the line I, I i'm so glad he's not in the loop i'm so glad but he's back in this this is man coverage and why do i know because the safeties are 10 yards but then he it looks like he audibles or he backs people up or i don't know what he does here we're gonna start a quick snap verts here uh i wanted this guy this sneaky little kid puts this guy in a zone like i wanted this and the delay route honestly the delay route to the running back is an option route so i'll go left or right but on first down i really didn't like trying to throw to him through the line i just wanted this guy and he put a zone here what a kid what a unit what a play all right so second and ten we're closing on field goal range that's huge right now uh we're going for a shot here you know why because i want to go for a shot I wanted I want to touch that early. Um, the thing about double Seah Seahawks chem is we have two 89 speed wide receivers, so we're going for a shot. A lot of max zone here. Uh, so if he goes three man rush, this zone will hopefully I, I don't know boys. I'm just cooking at this point. You know I got a flat route and a drag if I need it. He actually rushes five and man. Uh, and if I look back at it, I mean it looks like Jerry Rice was tutty. But once I see five, I get a little nervous, the five-man rush here. Like, right here, I'm like, oh, crap. <sighs> I'm so a little hungover and party. But I blocked my running back, so I know I have time. So I know he's put some five. Jerry Rice might have been tutty, pass lead up. But I just saw this guy open. I want to get the ball out of my hands here. Take the check down with Gusecki. Possession, catch, and roll. So we get to a third and three third and three here he backs this guy up see this guy when they play like this and they back this guy up to me that means they're in a 25 20 30 yard cloud because they want them to be back at 30 yards way before after the snap if you press your 30 yard cloud he'll never get back there so what people do is they'll they'll back him off like that so he's already at the position slot apprentice again this is just high low cross cross in the middle um, man coverage he's playing here if he if he blitzes everybody i'm gonna snap and throw to harris i believe unless i block him so he only rushes three people we see we got man on the tight end double mabel over here deep blues deep blues flat zone over here only three people and we're getting shedded again once again deardorff is just beat by jerry rice we got the this is why we do slot apprentice crosser and we get an overthrow right there fourth and three i could kick here um I, I was feeling it. I don't know what to tell you the reason for going for this. Fourth and five, I might have punted. Fourth and three, I, you know, 
And we come out here, we're quick snapping. That's what we're doing. You know, we're not letting this kid get set. We're not letting him do what he does. Slot apprentice again. Once we put on a slot, this is what we're going with. You know, we're going, I right, got off the field, but we're going corner route, flat route. It's almost similar to the last play, so we're going to block the running back here in case he rushes five. If we quick snap, we're going to have him in man. Uh, we know DK is probably going to get open on a corner route. We have this post route, and we have a slant back this way. And we're quick snapping, so he's not going to have crazy adjustments out there. So we have the quick snap. We have man, man, man. I guess there's a cloud. This is all I'm reading first, and I see one guy, nobody on the tight end. Let it develop. Uh, I said, but the tight end. This is take. It's not really a stone's throw. It's it's open, and this is why fourth and three. You can go for it. Fourth and six. Fourth and seven. Fourth and three. Dude, we're getting it. Ten out of ten times. Fourth and three. So just like that. We're going to the second quarter. I feel great. I'm freestyling on offense a little bit, but we're cooking. We're cooking, boys. Um, I've only played one snap of defense so far. That's tough to win a game when you've only played one snap of defense. But here we are. Uh, we're in the red zone, or, in the, or the high red zone, close red zone, 30-yard line. A little coffee. Absolute freestyle here. Absolute, absolute freestyle. He's going man coverage here. Uh, we're looking for flat route corner to Jerry Rice. A lot of times when these guys play man, they'll start zoning out their corners. So if you motion this guy, kind of Fs him. Uh, and you'll see that because I think he base aligns to keep this corner on this side of the field. See, he does that right there. So what that tells me is that they're no longer in man. He's changed it all to zone. So we just got a zone play here. We're high, low. We're high, low. We're wheel route maybe at the end if he... Doesn't have a deep blue or man's up the running back with a linebacker. But snap of the ball. We got flat, flat, deep blue, deep blue, flat. Just three-man rush or four-man rush. I mean, just what you want here, what you want to see. You see a corner route over here. Just great throw, great click on possession catch. Jerry Rice, the GOAT, gets his feet in for sure. I mean, execution, boys. That's what it's about. But now we're at the 13-yard line. Can we score here at the 13? We flip right here. We're going verts, I think. Yep. Uh, we were bagged right here. Now, I go verts. Now, I don't have halfback apprentice like I've had in a couple of videos because I got slot apprentice now. So, we're going flat. We hope this guy right here is in a flat and I can throw this. Uh, and then we're looking here. But if I had the angle route, might make this play better. But first down, I want to try to catch him. And we got man, man. Purple, purple, man, man, two purples. Once again, I mean, Javon Curse is just killing Deardorff all day. Uh, obviously, I'm bagged on this play. I mean, he overran it. But what I saw was Gusecki a little bit open. I'm not going to say real open, but he was open for red zone. Right, boys? He was open. So we're second and 10. We're going to try to cook right here. You know, we're going to try to cook something up, something hot. Um, not the prettiest play you guys have ever seen. You know, we're just going double in routes here. Flat route, double ends, whip route here. If he zones this guy out, I can hit the whip route for a big play. He does blitz. Good job blocking by me. And he does do that. He goes yellow, yellow, flat, flat. I think he's manned up on tight end here. And these guys are, like, way too close to do anything. Whip route's not open. So we have nothing there. So I see double, double, flat, just full out zone. So... You know what? He's getting real adjusted down here. We're at the 13 yard line. And one time when I tell people when you when they get adjusted, you get basic. And we're just gonna quick snap verts here because you know, F them. That's how I feel. We see flat, yellow, yellow, flat. B B is open, but I'm staring down Gaseki. Beautiful ball, high ball. This is why we use gift wrapped. Touchdown, we get the feed in. Huge play. Another touchdown in the red zone, that's huge. This time, this is what you got to do. Kick it straight down the middle of the field. Look how far the ball goes. We're halfway into the end zone. We got pursuit everywhere. I'm on Bobby Schwags. You know, boom. Great job. 21-yard line. We'll take that every time. So now we get a real possession of defense. All right, so we're going to try to blitz the hell out of him because, you know, no one likes getting blitzed. Um, but he motions this guy a lot. And because we're playing man, that my guy's going to run with him unless I do something about that. And I'm okay with that. We got man, man, man. I have tight end here. I put a deep blue on a linebacker. There's a lot of pulse routes and stuff in this U-trips, man. And, you know, he's going to know that. 
he goes running back here big play franco so all right that's what i mean sometimes the safety will not guard the running back like they play too passive out there like they'll just let them catch anything so sometimes i'll in this play i do i put man man this tight this safety on this side on the tight end i got a running back and then so he blocks his running back here uh we don't really get a lot of pressure the, the loopy gets picked up he hits a drag route right there so you know he's kind of dotting a couple plays we're gonna go all right so now i go man 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 i know the running back wheel is a touchdown so i keep i put Dion or who i think it's uh ed reed i put him in a, a deep blue just for you know running back wheel could be a touchdown if i man him up on a linebacker once again, he isolates Jerry Rice right here. This corner route, corner route. That's kind of what I'm worried about here. You see me kind of take off to that side, but you know I'm not fast enough to get out to Jerry Rice. I'm not, not from the box. Uh, so, dude, we're getting pegged right now. We gotta figure it out. Uh, make some plays. Uh, we're gonna keep blitzing though. You know, one thing I told myself, and I told myself going into this tournament is, I'm gonna blitz. You know, I feel like I got the best blitz in the game right now. You guys can have it too, manturf.com, exactly how to set it up. But um, I'm not going to go out playing passive. You know, if someone's going to dot me and they're going to let six people rush at them every play or they're going to send out five, God, God bless. I'm not going to regret not blitzing. You know, so I'm going to keep sending them, keep sending the dogs, keep playing man coverage. And one thing you got to realize is like, yeah, we're getting beat on that corner route, but the game is random this year. Next play, you won't get beat on a corner route. Next play, they'll bag them. That's kind of... Uh, I, I watched the Kobe documentary a long time ago, maybe shoot 20 years ago at this point. Kobe said, play the percentages. Always, Everything's always come back to the percentages. That corner route's going to work 75% of the time. So he's two for two. I mean, we're due for the corner route to get bagged at some point. And I, I, I kind of play my defense like that until it gets really bad, that I'm going to play the percentages that, you know, this guy's going to hold up in man coverage eventually. You know, I, man coverage is bad this year. It is. It's not good. But, you know, they're going to hold up eventually. Got to keep him out the end zone, though. So we're going to keep blitzing. We're going to keep going. I got running back on the – oh, no. He, I man up Dion on the running back, and I got tight end on this play. One, two, three, four, five, six are coming to the party. I got tight end. And, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he did with the tight end. Maybe a streak. Listen, on paper, getting the tight end is, is a good plan, right? Like, I'm guarding a tight end. Uh, until I might have forgot what I had to do here. But this is why we blitz, right? Right in his face. Screamer. He can't throw. He just throws the ball away. Big play right there. Um, now I put him on a tight end because I don't want to see that tight end running down the field. We're sending six again. We're doing it. We're doing it. Bring them all to the party. Let, let God sort them out at this point, you know. He's going to motion, isolate that Jerry Rice again. I got a hook curl in the middle of the field. So we send six. And we get this huge play by Blunt. Oh, my God. What a contained pick. What an absolute play. Uh, I, I actually used Bobby Wagner on this side. But using a linebacker, I don't think a linebacker makes this play in Madden. That's why you put safeties at linebacker. That's all the time. I mean, this is just the play of my tournament so far, I think. Um, but this happens, dude. If he never engages, he never gets blocked, he never comes close completely in the line of the football like it's not like it's over his head it's not an outrageous play um he never gets blocked though so he never has to put his hands on people like where are my offensive linemen dude you got to put your hands on people and make them not be able to jump make them not be able to reach up you know you got to punish people that jump so if they jump in the air to swap passes you throw them on their ass and there's nobody put hands on him he comes up with the huge pick i was super excited because i mean i'm getting dotted i don't know if he has an incompletion but we didn't we didn't we didn't move away from our defense. We didn't move away from our philosophy of just blitzing and Blunt comes up with that huge play, man. So now we got the ball. We're up by seven and we have the ball. We go for a, a big play here. We go for the post route. And you know, I gotta keep playing because I feel like now he rushes five. So I'm not gonna have all day here. I know that at the snap of the ball. Uh, I can't be greedy and wait for this post route. And I didn't even put a streak to take away the safety, but boys i mean at some point this this throw might be here you know to the left this post but first down play smart it wasn't there he rushed five we're not going to have a deep pass when he rushes five so we just get rid of the ball pretty instantly there 
Um, like I said, we got him out of the loop. That's so refreshing. We've seen him zoning out a lot. So I'm going to run a zone play here. Kind of the same play here. You know, we run off the... I think this is almost a 30-yard cloud that he has over here. But we're going to throw underneath, come back, get the ball, possession catch. Beautiful play by Jerry Rice. Just absolute man of a wide receiver here so we're in field goal range and we're and we're closing in a two minute warning we're up by seven in field goal range already play smart we're just going to run the ball here with franco get to the two minute warning just not don't do too much don't do too much i know and this is how i play madden i know i have a a, th a three right here i have a 10 point lead i do i know that's in the that's in the bank it's on the board i can just count it so i'm not going to do anything to jeopardize that at all here we catch him with a quick snap, bomb, touchdown. I mean, I just want to set up deep corner here or deep attack, which is post on the solo side, in route, streak. It's just, I just want a quick snap. I've been flipping everything. We get a quick snap. Um, he's in man, man. He, take, he puts these guys in clouds and we catch him just lacking. Catch the young man lacking. And, you know, this is Skimbo. The first read is always a streak. Glad I saw this. If you guys watch me, sometimes I don't see the streak because I just assume that's the number one thing they're taking away. But um, tempo. Tempo, not only speed, but flipping, taking your time sometimes. Um, I'll never forget uh, one of the experiences I had playing Kiv and Madden at an exhibition event in Madden 18 or 19. And I remember his tempo was so different. He varied his tempo, so I never got comfortable defending a quick snap, defending audibles, defending flip, um, just mixing up your tempo. The quick snap is the biggest weapon on the offensive Madden, but if you do it every play, the defensive player gets tempo for it, and they don't think they can make a lot of adjustments, and they're ready for it. But if you're flipping, you're taking your time, you're doing hot routes every other play, and then you mix in a quick snap, it's so much more lethal. That's what we do here. We get dude we get a touchdown here and i'm like just so happy that we caught him lack and you know he just it's big 21 7 that's huge enormous kick the ball straight down the middle our special teams have not been special this tournament uh we're gonna kick this one deep and there it is we cover a kick i so he has you know what is it 79 yards to drive for a touchdown so a minute left. He gets the ball to half, so he could. He has potential to double dip the chip here. Uh, man, man, we're just going man, man here. I got running back. If he blocks, um, one thing I, I, you know, I wish I knew. No, I wish I was a bigger nerd. But if I have the Dion manned up on the tight end here, if he blocks the tight end, I'm going to assume that Dion's going to go into a deep half or a deep third, which helps essentially. You know, I don't want to put him in a purple and then he goes in a route and i gotta guard both running back and tight end so i'll leave him on the tight end hopefully he drops into a, a deep blue if he blocks the tight end here but i got running back we're just man man blitz six i got running back have fun we're coming to the party you know bring <laughs> bring your dress shoes that time uh we scream we absolutely scream I guard running back. He sends out everybody. So you got to pay attention. When you're high blitz, you got to pay attention. Are they blocking? Are they sending out six? Are they doing a mixture? How can you attack? If they're, if they're, once they start blocking, and you'll see this in other games from other players, once they start blocking everybody, you have them by the nuts. You do. And you can put more zones out. You can be more adjusty. But when they're sending out five, uh, you got to just rely on your pressure. And we get tons of pressure here. But just alignment-wise, the tight end is going to beat Dion here for a first down next play uh he's quick snaps he it's under two minutes so the quick snap is super fast right now uh we audible we shift we move this guy we get back on cam but we just miss a click i tried to click on nolan smith here but i miss it uh he hits franco big play right here i'm on sherman i can't get blocked here now this is tackling this is a skill gap you know he's got the first down he's probably got more than that what i can't allow is this to be a touchdown okay like I, you know you got it at this point in your mind you have to concede the fact this is now a big play he's got my pants around my ankles on this play i gotta make a tackle but i can't let him get to the outside i know i got the boys coming from from the middle here just make sure i don't get blocked that's my goal if i get blocked we're sol we're giving up a 70 yard touchdown I don't get blocked with this guy. Run away, make him do moves, make him chop his feet, make him slow down, anything. I'm running away. Look at where my, like, look at my, that's, this is not a good defensive position, but it's the position you need to, need to take when your pants are on your ankles, right? But I got the boys here. Now I know I got to make sure I don't get blocked. I get to the outside. I get contained here. 
just contain, just make him slow down, and Dion makes the play. That's such an underrated play that, like, I mean, you know, it seems like nothing. We got dotted. We got dotted. We, you know, we we give up a big play, but uh, just being able to make that, not even make the tackle, but make him wait right here. Like, if if we don't click on. DK gets this block and he can run free down the sideline without any hesitation, you know, but being able to click on and make sure this guy doesn't get blocked and make him just kind of follow him. Now prime might've caught him, but you know, just a play like that is a play. I see not a lot of people making, and, and it's a game saving play and it's not going to get put in the highlights. It's not going to be on TikTok. You guys aren't even going to see it, but that is just tackling. And, and as I, I've coached a lot of people and, and done a lot of lessons and things like that. And that is a play right there. That's just absolutely a difference maker in pro Madden and an elite level Madden right there is just making sure it's not a touchdown. You know, it's okay. The clock's going to run, you know, and we're at a minute. Uh, we got time here. Or he's got plenty of time. Time is really not a factor. Him having uh, three tight ends now or three timeouts. Now, this time, I, I, I was prepared for the quick snap. I said, that's not happening again. So I man, man, and I go yellow, purple. I don't even move this guy in, which is a negative because the rules of Madden is make every defense oh, excuse me. make every defense look the same. By not bringing this slot corner right here to loop, then it's, it's, it's a tell that I'm not blitzing. But I don't want to get quick snap, so I'm okay. And I can still blitz all these linebackers on the left. But we drop into coverage here. Beautiful coverage. Ghost corner route. Big swat. User swat by Sherman. Big user swat by Sherman here. Uh, the swat is really good this year, man. If you guys aren't using it, you're missing out for sure. Big swat by Sherman right there. That's big. Second and 10. We're going to... This time, same thing. But this time, I actually moved this guy in. And we put him in a purple. So, illusion of pressure. But we're actually just dropping in the coverage here. You guys see my defense. But we have the illusion of pressure. Pressure pressure we've been blitzing six all day when you blitz six all day and you have that reputation they got to prepare for blitz six all day but we have purples here he sends out everybody now i know this good call i didn't blitz called my bluff blitz sends out all five but i know i have nobody on the running back so if this running back's on a wheel <whistles> touchdown so that's why i'm looking this way with my user like i don't care about this side i'm just make sure franco's not on a wheel because that could be a touchdown. So I'm kind of going left a little bit and deep. Because, listen, we're up by 14. We don't give up a touchdown here. Uh, beautiful defense. My user is blitzed. I clicked off. I mean, if I could get the three-man rush that some of these guys get once in a while, that would be nice, right? So always blitz your user for this reason. You know, click off right here and Cam will go get him now. So he's able to slide. Clock is running. I don't know if he goes right. He does go right to the line here. We're going to shut up our defense. Make sure we're manned up on the running back. We don't even move that slot because I want to be I want to be ready for defense. We're only rushing three again. And this is one of the plays of the game. Click on user pick just like that. Click on user pick. A huge play. Absolutely huge play. Uh, Dion, one thing I wanted to do uh, is, and I talked to Skimbo about this, to use medium knockout on Dion. Uh, it could have been big on a big play, maybe fourth down or something, but I just I decided to go with my gut and go three pick artists on Sherman, Ed Reed, and Dion. And I don't think you make this play without pick artists. You know, I don't think you do. And I talked about early play to percentages. He's getting whooped, 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 whooped on the corner route, isn't he? Eventually right here, he doesn't get whooped. He actually mans up and... You know, I, this is 20 plus years of man clicking on going for a pick instead of a swat. We come up with a huge pick. No points before halftime. That's enormous. Enormous. Absolutely enormous to come up with that pick. And we're up by 14 now. Uh, now it's time. If I can get points here, dude, we're in a good spot. We're going. He's back into the loop look. This is the loop look 3 3 normal, not 3 3 5. So I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, I'm. Listen. You got to know, I'm cool with this this 14-point lead at halftime. I'm cool. Like, obviously, I want to try to push the ball down the field as best I can, but I don't. Nope. There are no mistakes being made here. I Thank you, Jesus. I'm up 14 points on one of the best players in the world. Uh, I am, you know, I feel good. This is, this is beautiful. I will go to halftime. There is no risking the football right here. There is no, you know, doing anything questionable right here at all. At all. 
so we'll see how we play this you know and I, I i honestly you know greedy man stays hungry is a phrase i live by but right now i am tucking the tail i am cool with this score now you know maybe you know we got to do more aggressive things or push the ball or take some shots but right now i'm looking at double loop i'm looking at a 14 point lead mistake can lose this game for me right here uh so we just dump it off to franco we get busy a little bit beautiful spam timeout 20 seconds now we're really in i can get a field goal here i i believe that you know now let me tell you something the mindset i don't know if it changes i'm still super careful with the football no mistakes here is my goal we go for the flip again we flip them and look his corners out here i know this is not loop area right here this could still get loopy but we're gonna go max protect here i don't want to get looped i mean this is about as basic as a route combo as you guys can see you know, it's it's not something elaborate here, boys. I see a press look from on Hester, so I'm feeling this streak if it's open. Drag crosser, and you gotta know a smart player is gonna go with the, this crosser. So I'm, drag is pretty much. I'm pretty much looking streak. Does he get a good release? Um, drag crosser where his user goes. He's looping me, so I gotta make sure I don't get looped. I don't because we flipped and made his corner step outside here. We got a good pocket. Step up in the pocket right here. Hester does not get any type of, like, not even at all. Um, so we're just going to take off now. I tried to slide instantly. This was close. I could have hit the drag, you know, but he's not getting that many yards. Call my second time out here. We're going to run the same play, I believe. We flip, so his, his contain is not containing over here. We're going to, oh, we're going to go corner out here. What did I see to make me go corner out here? You know. Every play I take from the last play or the last plays throughout the game, like I see cover two over here. Third, third. Yep, flat, flat. He's sending five. This is a defense that I like to run to. Almost cover three look. So now I go, I'm going, I slide, slide apprentice, I'm going corner. And I really should have went corner streak here. I go corner crosser. And this guy just picks this up so well. Corner stre streak, corner would have been better, but uh, we're going to get sacked there. We're going to use our last timeout. Nine seconds left here. We don't have much. We're going to try to catch a bomb here. He rushes five. Shed it again. Let me see if we had anything here. This is deep third, third, third. Man, man. I mean, not. he's playing deep right here. Nothing. We just throw the ball away. Fourth and nine. This is a play that Skimbo cooked up. He lives by it. PA post, motion over. Supposed to beat three deep. And but... <laughs> D Croft has obviously played Skimbo. I mean, they help a lot. You know, he's like one of the boys. So uh, you see where he is. So <laughs> he's not getting fooled by this. As we do pull down this third, we do keep this guy. It is. I mean, he doesn't really beat the man, which, you know, kind of kills it. And D Croft right there. Uh, but you never know. So you just chuck the ball up and, you know, we're nowhere near it. But we, we throw a pick there. Does that count as a pick? One of my first picks of the tournament. All right. So, boys halftime we're limiting by 14 points we're gonna go to the line we gotta finish we gotta finish out and I'd, I'd be lying to you if i said i wasn't nervous about holding this lead i wasn't nervous about maybe choking this lead i wasn't nervous i'm shitting bricks right now i'm like this is a great spot to be and, and i tell myself every time i'm like oh my gosh I'm, shit <laughs> i'd rather be up 14 than down 14 that's pretty much at the end of the day no matter how nervous you are everything just i tell that to myself and say let's go I'm up 14 points, happy. I'm 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 just elated. We're playing decent defense, hard to guard this formation, hard to guard a great player. But if you if you take anything away, we're playing great offense. We've had the ball three times. We got 21 points in that one play before half. I I could have pushed the ball, been a more aggressive with the football at the end of the half. There, 24 to seven would feel great right now. But you know, here we are. I mean, I'm cool with this. We got two big interceptions one on a contain the other one on Dion actually strapping the corner out so all in all you know i'm elated where we are right now and elated that we covered a kick
that's one thing I got to work here is covering kicks and things like that because what you know that just is not acceptable. So once again, we go all zone here. It looks like, and he hits a drag underneath. We get no pressure. Tough to get no pressure there, boys. It really is. All right, so what is it? First down, just same thing. I got tight end. We guard in the running back here. Good pressure. He throws the ball away. We get a good loop. He throws the ball away. Love to see that. Love to see it throw away. That means they're scared. That's what I tell myself. All right, we're going to a little coverage here. I got a running back. Good coverage again. Dion's glowing now. God, X factors. Once Dion's glowing, we get a third and 10 here. Now, this drive right here is one that you're going to be pissed at me, but. We're fighters. We're playing coverage here. Hopefully he blocks. Hopefully he blocks. So I'm saying hopefully max protect, max protect, please, please, max protect, please. He sends out one. I'm not worried about him because I know I have a purple over there. I have a purple and a yellow in the middle, a mid read for these posts. Uh, um, but once I see the running back go to the right, I know I have a purple over there. We get a beautiful loop. Fourth and 10. I want to get glitchy here. I want to do a different adjustments here. Um, something. But the motion, I'm afraid of motion, right? So I go flat, third, third. I, if he motions, my flat's going to go with this guy. You know, so that's what I'm a little bit nervous about. Uh, maybe we should just go all man coverage here. And do I put this guy in a zone right here? Do I do Sherman in a flat and a third, but then there's nobody deep here? I'm up by 14. You can't take too many risks right here. Our defense has been pretty good. We're definitely sending six. Believe that. It's fourth down. But uh, it's just a matter of, like, what I do with my zones behind it. I get caught a little bit lackadaisical and cover two just, you know, in a perfect world, I'd probably just play man here. But, I mean, he has a perfect dot for cover two and hits Jerry Rice. Now we got to make a test. So that's a fourth down. Could have got off the field. We didn't. So tough. He hits a little pass, get to a second and five here. Here I do a little scissors adjustment where I man up the running back with the, with the corner and the wide receiver with the safety. He goes max protect here. Big sack by Warren Sapp on max protect. Second, second and five. He goes max protect. Drag streak slant or drag streak post. You know, and we get a big sack from Warren Sapp, the big fella. And he goes right to the line here. So third and 16. In my head, if I get to stop this drive, we are in the money, really. And we could have got a pick. We went SWAT. I can't lie. We went SWAT here. This might be body, but the way to SWAT is, especially on curls, he goes quick snap. We're covered on everything. We do a great job setting up defense. Could have been a pick, almost a pick six, really. So he no huddles. Uh, we man up the running back really quick, and we guard the tight end a little bit. So we do a great job of being ready for quick snap. Man up running back, guard tight end, everything right here. He's on a tight end too, so if he goes across, Dion has him. I do a great job getting ready for the quick snap, and we get the quick snap. And I can't lie, I do click on SWAT. I don't know if, I don't know if it even registered. I don't know if this is a drop pick, but could have been a pick six. Could have been the game right there. So we get to a fourth and 16. We were just on a fourth and 10. Uh, I like I like going zone on fourth down. You know, I like going max max pressure, six people, but zone behind it. I like that. Uh, and this time, I'm going to I'm going to cloud the left, right. This is what I want to do. Zone, 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 zone. Now, obviously, there's no corner, there's no yellows, um, but I got to touch this corner. So if he motions him, he'll stay there. I don't want him to motion 23 or Hester across and then Sherman run with him. I want this cloud flat to stay here for the corner route is what I want want to stay here. All right, so we're here. And listen, he starts motioning him and I see that and watch me go try to click on that guy. Move I touch Sherman so he's he's not Sherman's not going to go anywhere. Now I got to get back to Cam Chancellor. I do, but I go down here to try to make the blitz better, you know. And the tight end he sends out 5 which is a good guess. It's a good play. And my deep third is on the right side, and he's able to hit this pass, fourth and 16. I mean, good call sending out five on fourth down, fourth and 16. You don't block anybody. That's like, that's stones right there. Big stones play. Uh, I would call the same defense again. Don't expect him to send out five. And my, I actually lurked the other way because I feel like a running back pass could have scored. It could have got the first down here. 
so that's why i go you know i go kind of get this this side over here because i know i have a flat over here uh in a perfect world i would have took this third and put him right here in the middle but that's a tell sometimes maybe but the fact he's aligned to the right this is just alignment just you know tough good play sending out everybody you know we get pressure bobby wagner's right there but that's just a void in the zone it is good play by him once again a big fourth down we give up and just it's demoralizing but at the end of the day we're up 14 points now he didn't score you got to keep telling yourself like he didn't score off that like it sucks we could have won the game but he didn't score off that you know so all in all as much as you know it pains that we didn't score there or we didn't get off the field could have ended the game but you know he hasn't scored yet so for me let's get it boys that's how i feel d croft is taking some time here because he doesn't want the clock to run he wants to try to extend this game he's losing so he wants the game to go as long as possible right now we're just manned up manned up manned up we're going to play coverage here of the look of blitzing um, I don't want to contain. I want my guys to rush. We're going hook. I don't know what we're doing. We're cooking. That's all I know. And he gets a delay a game. So he took time out of the huddle so the clock wouldn't run. Pro move, but he didn't He didn't do a good enough job, and he gets a delay a game. Almost a spot where you might think about declining that delay a game to, you know, keep them closer to the end zone and give them less space to pass. But I accepted the penalty because at the end of the day, 15 yards is 15 yards. Right now I'm on Warren Sapp, and he throws this pass. Swat. tough it's tough i just a tough drive you know and to end on that play that's tough big time catch by a big time i mean <laughs> looking at this now that's tough but i mean whew, demoralizing drive defensively but we played good defense. We did the whole drive. You know, we gave up fourth downs. If you get a man on fourth and long, you're playing good defense. That was the 11, 12, 11 plays. I, you know, you got to keep that in the back of your mind. Like we played good defense. He's not that comfortable. He's not frying. He's not filleting us. So, uh, you got to keep that in mind. And we almost get up out of here. And I'd say this every time, God, please give me a kick return and go, me go back. I'd say this all the time. Every time please, 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 please. Juke, juke. And we got, oh, wool and shed perfectly. We only get to the 28. So we got it, dude. We have the game here. We have the game. We're dialed. We're locked. Offense wins championships in Madden. It does. A drive here for even three points, we can win the game here. Especially if we get into the fourth quarter up 10. Yes, please. That's how I feel. Yes, please. So we're going to go for a big play here. He's in the man coverage. I put this in the ebook. I'll tell you guys now. Man coverage, right? Man, man, man. Maybe a deep third. Uh, deep third will stop the streak. But this crosser will go here where there's no deep third, right? Now, a lot of people defend bunch. They'll put this solo guy in a deep third. And I. that's why I put the whip route. So if Dion's in a deep third, I'm going to have whip route for 10 yards. And then I'll have drag just to hopefully, you know, come back across the field if I'm in trouble. And he, he does a good job. He never leaves, and he does go deep third here, but he never leaves this without a purple zone over here. He only rushes three here. I mean, Jerry Rice is getting his, his you know, his panties took right here. He goes deep half, deep middle, deep third here. Whip, this guy's kind of guarded. He's got the crosser. You know, just really good defense. Now, I, I playmaker this guy up, and if you guys watch my head-to-head, -head, we're throwing this. We're throwing to Hester nine times out of ten. And another, like, dude, just a, a lot of big plays here. He'll click on to Ed Reed and make sure this doesn't become a touchdown here. If you guys see it, Hester playmaker up. He sends him, but he clicks on him. Because, you know, this. look at this void here. He clicks on that guy, runs back. You know, I'm 100% throwing it. Now, what's crazy is, as he's doing this, I'm looking at who's coming back to the football. I know when these routes stop, they're going to beat all the defenders back to the football. So I'm looking at A, I'm staring him down. And, dude, the cross no dummy. He knows this. And watch his user. This could have been a pick. This could have been, a, like, just asking for a pick. Just the ability to see that he saw that, he knows that, and we're able to just hit B here. 
possession catch and we're getting six yards. Crazy play for six yards, but uh, a lot of high level men on both sides of that. But we come out of the play with six yards. And, you know, offensive football, that's a great job coming out to play with six yards. We may go for a quick snap here. We do. We get a quick snap. We're going to have streak, but oh my God. Look like we're going to have streak here. We're going to have streak. Because when I quick snap, what I do is I look at the safeties. Where do they go? Boom. This guy's manned up. This guy's deep half because he's on the running back. We quick snapped him, got him in straight zero coverage. This guy's on the running back. My bunch is to the left. That means this guy will go into a deep half. If my bunch is on the right, he'll go into a deep third. But he'll go into a deep half. Jerry Rice beats Sherman off the press but then gets mauled. Just mauled again. So he's not open. So now we have B open, but we have DK Metcalf getting his panties taken. And we get sacked. I mean, just absolute mollage on, you know, I'm going to call for illegal contact, but this might have been within five yards here. Look at DK Metcalf getting mauled, dude. And we get sacked. I'm like, damn, third and 17 here. Uh, we got him in cover one again. He backs that guy up, which tells me cloud flat there. Um, we're cooking and we're just this is just football man and we catch a juke and we get a big play there like it's third and 17 is such a spot to try to get 17 yards but when he backs this guy up screams cloud flat we're put our running back on a wheel route that's running back on a wheel route can be an easy first down if it's not guarded you know we have a drag backside he he runs to get the the running back i'm i'm taking this 10 times out of 10. You know, I'd love to get a better juke right there, but we get a big play, fourth and three. I might no huddle this because I'm a sicko. It's a big play in the game right here. Third quarter, I'm up by seven. I'm, I'm almost saying I'm on the ropes, but I'm here. We're going to take our time. <laughs> slot Apprentice, this is pure freestyle. I've had Slot Apprentice for about four hours now. So pure freestyle. This is years of PlayStation 2 playing bunch. He's run man, man coverage here. Just look at that. Look at that. Is that in the ebook? No. No, it's not. Not in the ebook. It's not. Uh, I feel like he's not going to blitz fourth down. Um, but if he does, I feel like I'm going to have Metcalf on a curl. I'm going to have Gasecki on a drag. Hester is probably my last read. And then I'll read up to Jerry Rice on that crossing route. We only need three yards. You know, if, and in my mind, once if we get three yards, we go to the fourth quarter because the next play is a run 100%. He, he plays three-man rush, zones out everybody. I'm kind of I'm kind of shitting bricks once he zones out everybody. Like, we're gonna have a read. We're gonna have Gasecki here. We're gonna have Hester, and uh, we just make this read like a man. And just there's nobody there. Big play, fall down inbounds. One of the plays of the game, honestly, just absolutely cooked. I would tell you, slot apprentice. I I really was on the fence about it. Do I use it? Do I keep it? Uh, but you know, I wound up using it, and here we are. And we run the ball and actually lose two yards, but we gain the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. This is a long video, boys. If you guys are still here, thank you. This is a big game, and it was I played really well, and this is just a little bit of what goes through my mind here. We get to a second and 12. A field goal drive here is huge. A field goal drive wins the game. We flip, flip back the other way. Just be annoying here, boys. That's, that's the key here. One thing I hate about the game here, if you guys notice... When you flip and you you gotta wait to do your streaks before they if you don't if you do your streak before they set you get this little fade, and that could be good for some things. But what I want to do is run off every deep blue. And if you're delaying a little bit here at the line of scrimmage, you're not gonna run the deep blues deep enough to throw this post route. So I want a straight streak in this situation. So I'm a little bit nervous about this. As we're going double drag here, but we're able to hit Gasecki right off the gate and get a big gain that's almost 15 yards and i'm so happy because we're in field goal range off that throw and now i play every play like we're in field goal range because i want to because we can win off that you know uh because a two point uh, a, a 10 point lead here in the fourth is is a win really so we're going to motion bring another defender to the left we're going to run sweep again which is terrible and we actually lose more yards <laughs> second and 13 but we gain that clock running. Tick, 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 tick. We are getting inside inside of four minutes here. Uh, we're going to try to milk. One thing about milking the clock is it kind of eliminates your quick snap. But I hit him with a quick snap here. We hit the flat. Get a big stiff arm from Gisecki. We get five yards. So we got third and eight. 
So although you want to milk clock, you don't want to eliminate your quick snap. And that's what we did right there. Third and eight, I need this. I, I you know, I will 100% kick a field goal. So what I know before this play is that one, I'm not, I'm not dropping back too far to where I get sacked out of field goal range. If I get sacked, it will be right at the line of scrimmage. Uh, I want to get sacked rather than throw the ball away because it'll keep the clock running, but I don't want to lose yards. 37 plus 10 is 47 plus 7 is a 54-yard field goal. Makeable. It really is. So 54 from here is makeable, and I will, I will gladly thank God for a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter. So there is no risking the football here at all. None. None. We're not risking the football. We're looking corner, streak. This is probably a cloud, so this isn't the best play. And then we're looking drag, the in route. Uh, this will be really good if he blitzes, but he rushes three. Once again, he's got Cloud, man up. He's got Cloud here. He's got this guy. And once again, Deardorff is just getting just railed by Javon Kerr's three-man rush. Like, I don't know if Deardorff is just not it. But, like, what are we doing here? Not that I'll have anything anyway. It's actually a double team. He just walks right through Javon Kerr's. Uh, we didn't have much anyway, dude. But we throw the ball away because we cannot get sacked right there. So I'm taking my three with a smile on my face. I mean, listen, almost smoked the field goal. That would be embarrassing. But uh, here we are. We get the field goal. Big time, 10-point lead. I feel like we're going to win. We just got to play a little bit of defense. Make them work. We cover the kick. Make them work. Make them work. Make them work. Make them work. No big plays. The one thing about the blitz, uh, you guys think, oh, it's susceptible to big play. It's also susceptible to this where you just – make a play and tackle them you know run off we get run off and i'm trying to set up my defense no, 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 no. hurry up all right we're good but here we go we go straight zone or man coverage here and he's actually going to throw the ball up to jerry rice catch the touchdown on ed reed he won't go away he just won't die he won't go away just a huge Just a huge play to give up. Uh, I mean, I played coverage. That was one of the problems is that we played coverage there. You know, keep blitzing. We went coverage. He had time to run by him, and now we're only up three. We're getting the ball. But my, if you if you told me this option to go to Cali to win a lot of money, I have one drive to get one first down, uh, I would take it. I would always take it one drive to get one first down and we win a game and we win money and we go to the live event i would take this give me one first down here you know one first down we'll play smart uh i wish i had a better run than sweep here you know first play we're actually stuck in audibles i might actually just run sweep here oh no we're cooking back to the play i tried to run earlier but this time we're going to go with the post route similar concept to earlier where we want to whip route to the left and I, as soon as I see this guy drop, I know my whip route is dead. My drag is kind of dead. I mean, this is just good coverage defense here. But there's nobody on Metcalf. And we're able to hit this right here. Big play right here. Possession catch and stay in bounds there and get touched. So the clock is running. If I would have, like, fell out of bounds and stopped the clock, not the greatest play. But now the clock is running. For me, uh, looking back, I don't remember what I do, but I would assume this is an automatic run just to get to the two-minute warning. But I'm not. I'm going to cook. I'm going to leave it all on the line here. We're going to try to run deep attack here. I don't want to throw an incomplete pass. I'll tell you that. Uh, and we do because... <laughs> because one thing I hate about this game is I can do this and they just they always wind up right next to each other. I, I want to delay and this one, you know, 10 yards behind them. But they always wind up next to each other because slants are broken in this game. You can't really put a slant. You can't trust it. And... Obviously, I'm looking back at myself as like run the ball, run the clock, but we've seen I've run sweep twice and lost yards. So I've always said if I get the ball back and I got a chance to end the game, I'm going to try to end it. I'm going to play aggressive. I'm going to play to get the first down. And in these situations, sometimes passing the ball is easier on first and second down rather than if you get to a third and long. So that's why we're like, all right, let's just try to pass the ball around, try to play, I don't want to say normal offense, but normal offense. Dude, and I will tell you, man, his three-man rushes just beat six people that quickly. You know, like, what are we doing here? I know I have Kevin Mawai as center with Matador. Getting rid of that today. Uh, Polchik is a center. He's playing right guard. And then Deardorff is a center. Is it right tackle? He's playing right tackle. And, you know, those guys get a lot of pressure. They do. So we got to throw the ball away there on second down. 
Now it's like, all right, W, you just wasted a clock. Now you, you're to the point where it's like, now we can't even just run the ball. Because if we run the ball here, we get to a third and we get to a third and long. So we're going quick snap. We haven't run stick damn near all day. I know from the jump, there's no safety. This safety bites down. This I'm I'm one on one. Jerry Rice, Richard Sherman. We're just going to pass lead, lob it to the left. Boom. Big play, Jerry Rice inside the 10 yard line huge but being inside the 10 is crazy it's great right but i gotta score a touchdown i can't walk away over here with three i can't go up six points i'm gonna lose if i go up six points every time six point lead is the worst lead in madden all the time it's almost better to be up three than six i'll tell you that it sounds crazy but if you're up three the offensive player will settle for a field goal and you'll go to overtime if you're up six they have to push the ball into the end zone and they're going to take more chances, and there's more likely that they score, uh, and you lose if they score. So being up six sucks. So although that was a great play, right, we're inside the 10. I would much rather be at the 25, but we're at the 10. We're at the 10, okay? Now this is where we work. This is where we practice. This is where every single night we play my head-to-head. -head. This is every single night we've played tournament games. on play. We've played for these moments for inside the 10. We have. What can I do? Two-minute warning. If we punch this into the end zone, we're going. Oh, I know with everything in my heart. If we punch this in the end zone, we're going to California. I know that. This is where execution means the most. We go for a sweep right here. I tried to go outside. Might have should have lowered my shoulder in there and just got a couple. The good news is jerry rice is blinking and i know that that means he has doubled me that means good things will happen when he has doubled me so that's going to get the clock running i want this to go all the way to the two minute warning i or I'll, I'll use as much of this time as i want now we've been down here a couple times we got a sweep touchdown we got verticals touchdown all this has to be in your mind of what did i score last time and what does he think i'm going to go to and what defense did he go to he went to a lot of flat flat yellow yellow on his safeties with a blitz so now we're going inside cross one of my favorite plays we're going to try to get this all the way to one and we do because i need to milk as much as i can here this guy's blinking right here he knows that i know he knows blinking so i got a free pass to the running back here it's free I'm going to take it, try to get upfield, and we get inside the five, the five yard line. He calls timeout, third and four. I don't want to kick a field goal, but I will. I will because, you know, I'm not going to not take a field goal here. But so I, you know, they asked me, why do you go for two? Why do you go for two? Why do you go for two? Practice passing inside the five yard line. Practice it, practice, practice, practice. I don't lab. I haven't played a game offline, off stream, off YouTube all year. I don't lab. My lab is playing practice or playing games so this is what i do for two all the time not all the time but now i've been getting into this a lot and it's what it is is hopefully i can get it to where you see this play that i like to run for two um it's deep corner i like it for two more than the five yard line because i don't know what this corner route is doing but if you see this here i'm going to go flat route with medcalf this will take every single zone he puts purple flat whatever it is all the way to the right it's a clear out route take them all the way to the right then I have Gusecki on a whip route, in, out, and there'll be a void here for him. Now I'm on the two, this corner route will run to the back pylon, right? And then I have a backside in route, and I have this delay route to the running back. Love this play for two. I'm not going to tell you it's great, but this is what I've been cooking for two my whole life or my whole last week. Uh, I also have Jerry Rice glowing. I really do. Um, So for me, it's like, okay. I'm, I'm I'm chucking to Jerry. If I get that chance, I'm chucking. I'm be honest, I'm chucking to him. He's glowing. He's the goat. I'm chucking to him. I am. This is his opportunity, dude. I am throwing him the football. If if I see a lick of him open, right here, I see him just get pressed. I see this press animation. I see flat. I see a squat right here. I know I got the S right here. I know I got the S. Just give me some time. Our delay route is huge. Stones right here picking up the blitzer. Five man rush. We get a chuck here. And this is one of the best touchdowns of my life, without a doubt. Without a doubt. One of the best touchdowns of my life. Because I knew the game's over. We're up 10. He lo he wasted a timeout already. So happy. Like, the joy from that touchdown was one of the biggest that I've I felt in Madden. For real, the feeling is, it was special. Uh, so, we go up 10. 
cover a kick. So I tell myself now, cover a kick, cover a kick, please cover a kick, cover. Good job, Bobby Swags. Good job. So we're up by 10. Um, you know, now it's like I'm going to play with my tail between my legs on defense, which I should, which I have. We're still going to loop. We're just going to play cover four behind it. Um, double loop. We got a 30 yard cloud in a slot on blunt. Who's already made a play. Now what I do is I start, I go cover three, half, third, third here. And you know, this might've been dumb, but I like this defense. I like this. The biggest thing is what do I put Sherman in? It should have been a deep half. I, I, I presume as he goes max protect here. And he's able to run this play, which he's run for a couple years. Drag, post, and step up in the pocket and just, you know, get a big bomb. That's terrible. Terrible defense. And he's able to spike the ball. He still runs some time. 13 seconds on the clock. 52 seconds. Uh, just glad we took that one time out from him. I just feel like he's going to need it on side kick at this point. Um, now, this is a defense I like to go to. I believe I called timeout because I was base aligned and I don't want to be base aligned. Although I called timeout and didn't even change the baseline part of the thing. So that was one of the questionable moves by me. But, you know. So we, we're just going to play man coverage. Honestly, this is something I did here. Um, I'm going to, I believe I drop everybody. Because the time in, in my head is like, I got to make him use some time here. Even if he scores a touchdown, if he uses 10 seconds here, he's going to need an onside kick, right? If he scores right away, he maybe could kick the ball deep and he'll get the ball back. But if I make him use some time down here, it, it doesn't seem like much. But if I make him use some time, then I will I will be in a great spot. You know, he'll need an onside kick. So in my mind, every play down here is time for my next drive to take off the clock. So I need to make him, so honestly, this is a situation where I wanna drop every single person. I have purple, purple, I go yellow spy, I rush one person, right? I see the play develop, I got Deion Sanders on the tight end here, I got Bobby Wagner in a purple zone, I'm coming, I'm coming back across the middle to get this drag here, uh, and he gets this beautiful play on Deion. Hell of a play, touchdown. That's so my plan kind of went to poop right there. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, is it 47 seconds? He needs an onside kick here. He's going to go for it. I go base onside. And you see who's out there to catch the kick, Jerry Rice. So I, I've tried hands team onside and it, it failed me once. So I'm, I never go hands team anymore. Um, he gets a nice kick here up in the air and Jerry Rice comes down with it. Doesn't fumble. He's glowing. So now we have 46 seconds, right? So each play is 30 seconds. The clock is 30 seconds. So he has one time. He has two timeouts. So he stop the clock, stop the clock, and then I'll have 30 seconds to run off. So if you might, so let's just say we'll have one chance to run off 30 because he only has two timeouts. So now we have 16 seconds to work with. How can I use 16 seconds in four plays? That's that's my goal right now to use 16 seconds in four plays. So what I'm going to go here is a max protect. I'm not going to run the ball because running the ball can get stopped in one second. What I want to do here is pass because I feel like I can stay in the pocket. Now, I'm not passing. Like let's, let's reiterate that. Not passing. We're just looking and getting sacked. This is the getting sacked drill. All my guys that remember the tennis ball drills back in PS2, uh, this is that. We are just standing in the pocket. We put on conservative. We are running around in the pocket. We are just trying to keep the play. We're trying to use these 16 seconds. That's what we're trying to do. How can I use the 16 seconds? Step up, little step up. Okay, boom. What do we just use? Five seconds or so? A good five. Okay, now we now what do we have now? 11. We've got 11 seconds in three plays. We got 11 seconds in three plays. That's what we need to do now. That's all we got to do. 11 seconds in three plays and we go to Cali. Motion out. Just streak everybody. If he runs, if he run commits, I would take one of these streaks. But, you know, we're not even going to risk it. Get another sack. Make him use a timeout. So we wasted another five seconds. We got six seconds in two plays. Six seconds in two plays is all I got to do here. So six seconds, two plays. 
I think the best way to do this is stand in the pocket. Some people go for a toss and just run around, which I think is a little foolish now. As we take, boom, right there we took, you know, another four seconds. We're going to milk this all the way down as far as I can. Um, and we're going to call a timeout. Because field position is a little bit of a deal here because I'm only up three. A field goal can win the game. I'm only up three. Now we have three seconds. We've done this perfectly. Uh, there's a bunch of different options you can do here. You can go for the um, sky punt. That gives them a chance to return. You can punt out of bounds. I'm going to opt to do the same thing. Here, we're going to pass. All right, but we're going to throw the ball. We're going to throw the ball away. Now, EA is a little finicky with the uh, throw away. I don't, want the, I don't want intentional grounding. Although, I don't know if it can end on intentional grounding. So, we're going to go with two flat routes. So, I have options to throw the ball away to. If they're in the flat, you throw it to them and it doesn't count. Three seconds. I'm going to snap the ball, wait a little bit, and throw the ball away here. End of the game. GG's. And we won. End of the game. We won. And I mean, just execution. Just execution. Um, I'll put this game up uh, edited too with more of the, the raw emotion of it. But it was a big deal for me. Glad I could talk you guys through it. We're closing on 50,000 subs on the YouTube. We're going to California for the live event, the final eight in the mcs kickoff tournament we're playing really good football right now um just getting good reps against better people tournaments everything like that uh you know happy with the way i play on offense defense wasn't the greatest defensive game we came up with two big plays a contained pick was a huge play and also getting that pick with dion uh at the end of the half huge huge pick artists don't doubt it don't doubt it don't worry about all these other abilities get pick artists on your field don't even think twice, boys. Turnovers mean more than knockouts. They mean more than pass rush. Turnovers are king. They are. I got two turnovers that game. One from a contain, one from a click on pick. They were the difference in the game, dude. Cover the kicks. Uh, we gave up too many bombs. Inexcusable, but we made it, boys. I appreciate you guys. The support has been through the roof. We're going to put on in Cali. Let's get it, boys.